Hello everybody, if you've got one of these and you're watching this video, chances are you're going to want to know how to take this ring off safely. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. These open all knives are fantastic cutters, brilliant for food prep. However, the wooden handles, they suck up water like an absolute sponge. Any bit of moisture in the air seems to go in there and then the wood swells up. And then you, you go to use it one day and you're doing this thing, aren't you? You're doing that thing. You're trying to pull it apart and you're thinking, for goodness sake. And then you're giving it some of that and then you start doing the facial expressions. The gritted teeth. Like, Ur, uh, and you finally manage to get it open. Uh, like that. And then you use it and then you go put it away and then you, you, you're pushing it and you're pushing it and you're pushing it and you're trying to be really careful with it. Try not to guillotine your blooming fingers off when it closes. The solution to the problem is to sand out the middle of this wood where the knife blade sits. But first, what you've got to do is remove this retaining ring. After a bit of research, I've seen three methods to take this retaining ring off. Method one, you get a big screwdriver, a flat head, and you put it in there and you twist and you twist and you twist until it opens. Well, I haven't been able to do that, not on this larger size of knife. You may be able to do it on the smaller one. So that's no good to me. The second method that I've seen is where you get a pair of pliers. I think they're specialist pliers. And when you squeeze the handle, the top of the pliers opens out and that looks fantastic and that opens up the ring and you can just slot it off trouble is i don't have a pair of those pliers so that's no good to me at all the third method i've seen i'm calling it the jerk off method what you do you close the retaining ring there into the fully closed and locked position you grab the handle in your hand and the other hand you use on the blade and then you rip it violently apart and what happens is if you put enough pressure on it quickly that this retaining ring shoots off with the force so basically it gets jerked off if your knife blade is already really stiff inside there inside the handle that method is never going to work for you because you're never going to get that out so is there another way well, the answer is absolutely. I've come up with a method that's quick and easy to do and you don't need any specialist tools. All you need is a piece of wood or in this case it's a piece of roofing batten and a drywall screw. This is a 35mm drywall screw. Anything you've got lying about which is roughly about the same size with the countersink on is going to work just fine. All you need to do is put your piece of batten or piece of wood in a vice if you have one it just makes that a little bit easier if you don't just improvise you get your screw and you screw it into the top all you need to do is leave the screw protruding a little bit out the top of the wood and that's it you've now made yourself a tool there's plenty of people out there who's going to show you how to sand all this down and dismantle the whole thing. I'm only here today to show you how to take off the retaining ring safely. All you need to do is grab it firmly in your hand. Turn the collar so it's in a fully closed position. Use your new tool by placing it on the collar just like so. And the end of the screw is now in the recess or the little gap just on the collar. Put your thumb on the back and all you do is twist. Now that snap, don't be alarmed by that, it's absolutely fine. All it is, is the back of the collar has come above the top of the knife or the end of the knife and then you can just pull it off. It's as easy as that. If you've got a smaller open all, this is the number seven. No problem at all, we do the same thing again. 
thumb on the back, piece of wood in place, hold it firmly and twist. If it doesn't work the first time, do it again. There you go, he's released himself. So you can just pull him off. If you've got one of these, which is the plastic handle type, I think this is called the Explorer, do the same thing again. Hold it firmly, put it in place, twist, and he comes straight off. I can't see any reason why you'd want to take one of these apart. But I just thought I'd show you, just to prove it can be done. So there you have it. You can take any open or collar off just by making yourself a tool.